वेलकम टू सिग्मा सॉल्वर गाइज बिफोर आई स्टार्ट द वीडियो आई वॉन्ट यू गाइज टू स्मैश द लाइक बटन दिस हेल्प्स द यूट्यूब एल्गोरिथम एंड कीप्स मी मोटिवेटेड एंड इफ यू आर न्यू हियर देन सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू नेवर मिस एन अपडेट सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर ए डू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट अ न्यू टॉपिक इन द कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स ट्यूटोरियल विच इज रोटेशन अबाउट एन आर्बिट्ररी पॉइंट सो Consider a triangle having vertices at a 0,0, b 5,1, and c 3,4. Rotate the triangle by 90 degrees about the point 2,3. So, before I start, I also want to let you know that this same method can be applied when the object is in 3D. So, we are also considering the z-axis in that case. so the same process can be applied there also here you are seeing that the object is having three points in itself but this same method can be applied when the object is point sized so if it is a single point or it is consists of more elongated objects like a rod or something like that so in those cases also this same method can be applied okay so the steps are first we translate the arbitrary point that is 2,3 in our case to the origin second step is rotate the given shape which is the triangle in our case to about the origin which is exactly what is being asked third will be the reverse translation of the initial translation that we did that is of point 2,3 about origin so these are the steps that we are going to follow so before i proceed with the calculations If you want you can pause this video right here and try it yourself. Okay. Now we will do the calculations. So first what we will do is instead of doing all these calculations on individual points we will make homogeneous matrices so that the calculation part becomes less and more effective. So the points are as given A 0 0 1 B 5 1 1 3 and 1. this one is the constant of homogeneity next we create a matrix containing all these points so in that case as you see the columns are denoting the respective points now we perform the first step which is the translation to origin we are making this because the point about which we are going to rotate is different from origin and we have to make that translation so as you see this tx denotes the number of units we want to translate along x axis similarly along y axis it is denoted by ty so to make the point 2,3 to origin we need a negative of minus 2 and a negative of minus 3 on the y axis so that is what is written here and let us denote this matrix by t origin okay now we perform the second step which is rotation about origin so the standard rotation matrix is given here so in 2d space we need to rotate by angle theta so then we use this particular matrix right if we just put theta equal to 90 which is in our case we have this particular matrix let us denote it by r90 next we want to perform the reverse translation which we did in step 1 so again the translation matrix comes into play and this time we put 0,0 to 2,3 right so here it is positive 2 and positive 3 and this is denoted by t back now what we want to find out is the order of transformations so first what we want is to multiply t origin because it will shift it from existing point to the origin next r90 and then t back so we'll just simply multiply these three and we get this particular matrix just when we multiply these two right and then again multiply so we get m now this particular matrix is what all we need for transforming the existing points into their new locations this is the final points that we want to find out this is the transformation matrix consolidated and this is the original points this is the matrix that we have seen previously and this is the transformation matrix so this is what we get now from this matrix we can deduce the points that we have calculated so 5 comma 1 denotes a dash 
फोर कॉमा सिक्स डिनोट्स बी एंड वन कॉमा फोर डिनोट्स सी डैश सो दैट्स हाउ यू फाइंड द न्यू पॉइंट्स आफ्टर रोटेशन अबाउट एन आर्बिट्ररी पॉइंट बाई एनी गिवेन एंगल सो दैट्स बीन इट इफ यू स्टिल हैव एनी डाउट्स देन फील फ्री टू रीच आउट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो देन गिव इट अ थम्स अप and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos till then happy solving hey there before you go i've got some fantastic content lined up for you over here we've got some videos and playlists you might enjoy but first if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you never miss out on any of our future uploads thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next video